So they dropped a camera down in Mel's hole. What was captured next shocked the entire world. Was it the UFOs? Was it the aliens? Was it the ghosts? We've done part one on this one just the other day on the channel alongside like the UFO content, Dr. Stephen Greer. But apparently a lot of you said that you need to check out the Y files and yay, we're checking out the Y files. Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new and uh, let's see if this hole opens up our third eye or not, roll it. On Melwater's property in the Manastash Ridge west of Ellensburg, Washington, there's a hole in the ground that looks like a well, but it's not a well. Like the owners of the property before him, Mel used the hole as a trash dump. His neighbors used it too. Garbage, broken appliances, old tires, everything went into the hole. After a while, Mel started to wonder, why doesn't it fill up? And then he started to notice other strange things about the hole. Because the government later on fills up that hole. Brothers like filling up holes, but this time the government took control. Hole. Oh, his dogs it. wouldn't go near it. It caused his radio to pick up strange signals, and it didn't seem to have a bottom. Mel's curiosity became an obsession. Well, let's see if we can get to the bottom of Mel's hole. I, I think that's impossible, quite frankly. It is impossible. What do you guys think? Let's see. Mel's hole is a round pit, nine feet, nine inches in diameter. There's a stone retaining wall built around it that goes down about 15 feet. After that, the hole extends down into darkness. Well, not only did Mel Waters and his wife dump everything in the hole, but so did his neighbors. And this has been going on for a long time, for years before Mel even moved in. Mel's neighbors said they couldn't remember a time when the hole wasn't there. So why can't you hear objects hitting the bottom? Why can't you yeah. hear your own echo? Mel set out to determine exactly how far down this hole goes. And the numbers say that, and this is this might be true, this might be not true. We like I was saying, we watched like we did part one on it, right? I think he's also gonna talk about it, but we heard numbers like eighty thousand feet deep, which to understand is almost fifteen miles. Fifteen miles, that's deep. That's crazy deep. I think that's deeper than the... An avid fisherman, Mel had spools of fishing line on hand. So what he that? attached a one pound weight to the line and sent it down the hole. It went 4,500 feet, the full length of the reel, and didn't hit bottom. He reeled the line up, attached a roll of lifesavers, and sent it all the way down again. Mel wanted to see if there was water at the bottom. And if there was, the lifesavers would come up dissolved, but they came up dry. And Mel had more spools of fishing line, each one 5,000 feet. He attached another spool, now down almost 10,000 feet, and still no bottom. Spool yeah. after spool of fishing line went down the hole. He could not reach the bottom. By the That's time wild. Mel ran out of line, he was 80,000 feet down, over yeah. 15 miles, and still no bottom. Well, yeah, so this is a number that we heard last time. So it looks like that that's not even the bottom of it. Did you try putting down your hecklefish as well or not? While experimenting, Mel noticed that his dogs wouldn't come anywhere near the hole. Even when forced, the dogs would dig their feet in. There were no animals of any kind near the hole. No wildlife, no insects. Birds even flew around it. And since the hole was known to his neighbors, Mel asked around if anyone noticed their dogs feeling uneasy by the hole. And they all said yes. Then one of his neighbors said, speaking of dogs, not too long ago, his dog died, so he threw its body into the hole. Man. A few days later, that dog came back. Holy crap. Right, grandma always said, don't go near holes that you don't understand. Bruh. Yeah, guys, uh, not all holes are good for you, okay? My brothers, stay focused, don't go around all the holes, okay? Some holes are good, but others not so much. And this is one of them. After Mel's neighbor threw his dead dog into the hole... Why? Just why? Yeah. I don't know. You can't bury it. I really, I, I really don't know. Sometimes humans are very disappointing. They certainly can be. Anyway, this is why I was saying they needed to put hecklefish down there. A couple of days after disposing of his dog's body down the hole, he saw it running through a wooded area near the property. Now, he knew it was his dog because it was wearing the same collar. But for some reason, the dog didn't come when he called. And the dog mm -hmm. acted like he didn't know his owner at all. Ooh, maybe it's a version of his dog from another dimension. Well, that's definitely a theory. And as the weird stories piled up and the fishing line kept going down, Mel was at a loss. He was out of his depth. <laughs> right. Mel needed help figuring out exactly what this hole was. And in 1997, there's only one place to discuss the strange and mysterious and be taken seriously. Mm. Coast baffled. to Coast AM with Art Bell. From the high yeah. desert in the great American Southwest, I bet you all. The hole has baffled many people. 
uh, we are all baffled here. Good evening and or good morning, wherever you may be across this great land of ours. Coast to Coast was on hundreds of stations around the world and had 10 million listeners. If anyone could help Mel, it was Art Bell and his audience. That's Mel insane. sent Art a message on February 21st, 1997. Art called him and Mel's hull became known to the world. Over Holy the course crap. of several shows, Mel Waters would reveal more and more details about the mysterious hull. The good news is Mel was getting really good advice from people all around the world, like use a laser to measure or use radar to check the distance. <laughs> the bad news is now millions of people knew about this hole. And yeah. from clues- Okay, I'm a, I'm a 12 year old right now when he says that millions of people, at this point, everybody has seen the hole, right? Bruh. <laughs> Let's be real. This is insane, man. The hole wasn't supposed to be shown to the public, but everybody, millions of people seen the hole, bro. That's, Given by Mel on the radio, you can get a pretty good idea of where it was. The day after the first broadcast, Mel was returning to his property, but the entrance was blocked. The government. Yep. The U.S. military was now aware of the hole, and they wanted it all to themselves. Yeah, they filled up. This is what I was saying. The government filled up the hole before any of us could ever. I wish I never called your show, Mel Waters. Ow, we go uh, down down. After the show, on Friday night, I went out there and uh, and uh, noticed uh, there were some, some helicopter activity around the property. There was further helicopter activity the next day. Uh, and so I figured that uh, clearly uh, somebody out there listens to your program. Oh, yes. Mel said that the hole could affect things in the environment around it. Animals avoided it, but plants seemed to grow extremely well. Radios acted weird. If Mel brought a radio near the hole, the signal would get very staticky and then start picking up broadcasts from somewhere else. One day his radio started picking up what he describes as old time music. So he goes to change the channel and tunes into a baseball game. Point behind the St. Louis first baseman. But then what? Went on second, two outs. This is fine until he learns the game was played in 1967, 30 years ago. Art's first call with Mel goes on for about an hour and then they wrap up. Mel was staying in Ellensburg for a couple of days and had made the call from there. When Mel Waters returned from town, the access road to his property was blocked by armed military personnel. And there was evidence that heavy machinery had been brought in. Mel was told there was a plane crash on the property, but there was what? no report of a crash, no fire, no smoke. Yeah. Still, Mel up. was told he couldn't access the property until the crash was completely investigated. Yeah, whenever the government gets involved, that's when I'm like, okay, some real crap is going down, right? Because yeah, they could have not investigated. We could have probably never, uh, people would have never talked about the, the, the way they are talking about it. And I'm not sure what it is, but Mel's Hole is like one of the, the theories, or not theories, but one of those conspiracies that is now blowing up once again. And people are intrigued because whenever you have open holes, People are intrigued by nature. I mean, bio biologically, people are intrigued Bruh. right now, so. When Mel asked to speak to the person in charge, a man in civilian clothes told him that the land was not necessarily his anymore. And it would be very easy to find a drug lab on the property if he didn't leave. Mel threatened Damn. to go to the press. The man in charge. Man in black. The man in black told him, go ahead and talk. Nobody would believe it. But Art Bell and his audience would believe it. And a few days yep. later, Art called Mel for an update. Mel said that a neighbor saw a dark beam coming out of the hole and up through the clouds, Holy darker crap. than anything he'd ever seen. Oh, now, Mel yeah. admitted he didn't see this himself, but Art Bell and several callers said that this part of Washington has a lot of UFO sightings, disappearances, yeah. and other paranormal activity. Callers had their own theories. Maybe the hole was sitting on a ley line and there was a portal to another dimension, or Dang. it was a portal through time. And that's why everything thrown into it disappeared. Maybe somewhere in an alternate reality, there's a big pile of garbage, old appliances and dead animals just piling up. Who knows? Yo, what if like you throw something inside and yeah, that spawns in like somewhere else. And in part one, I was talking about it, which is quite true, right? Like what if you're like a demon uh, chilling down at the bottom of this hole, right? And somebody throws like their fridge on and it hits your the top of your head. 
obviously you're gonna be pissed, bro. Like, you know, if a demon gets hit with like <laughs> with a spoon on his head, <laughs> with a fry pin, <laughs> with a fridge, obviously the ghost or the demon or whatever entity is down there, if there is, uh, they're gonna be pissed, rightfully so. If it's one of those things, right? Like if your 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 partner, your wife, uh, or your brother, or your sister, or your kid just come in, or your homeboy, your friend comes in and slap your your ass, okay? Or maybe scratch that part, uh, slap your face. You're gonna slap back you're gonna slap back so simply put one caller thought this could be a tunnel to the hollow earth oh like a subway for lizard people something like that there were a lot of theories and since mel couldn't access his property anymore he talked to other locals trying to get more information an elderly neighbor said that many years ago there was a series of stone columns around the hole like stone inch right but without the cross beams which are called lintels 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 what i say Someone from the audience reminded Mel that calling into the show is a big mistake because obviously the government is listening. So the show ends and Mel agrees to come back for an update. On the day Mel is scheduled to reappear, he's a no-show and not picking up his phone. Damn! Yeah, they got him. The government got him. They took, they took everything from me. My land, my money, my family, everything's gone. Mel Waters. And yeah, this is something that we heard like in the first part as well and this is one of the biggest argument and the biggest point you can use to actually say that whatever is happening down there is probably true because the government the government is not gonna get involved and remove everything right you, you feel what i'm saying unless the guy did some terrible or some terrible was happening that he was trying to spill the beans on and that's exactly what's happening by the looks of it this whole is uh has many people baffled the whole that baffled the entire universe is what i'd like to say maybe my audience is not aware but a television crew uh went up to ellensburg after we did the last program Mm -hmm. and uh, researched this and I'll be doggone they didn't find the hole but they did find uh, near the area where you were talking about a lot of military boot oh, prints oh, and yeah. all kinds of uh, information that would indicate the military in fact had been there or was there yeah. oh they would have probably seen a lot of yellow gear tread marks in the um, yep. Uh, ground yep, yep 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 it yep, would be yep. three years before Mel resurfaces he said he was offered $3 million a year to lease his property to somebody. But the deal was, sign a non-disclosure agreement, leave the country immediately, and never come back. So Holy Mel takes crap. the deal, and he lives in Australia for two years. But he's missing his family and decides to come back to the States for a visit. Not smart. It wasn't. Mel was warned not to do this, but he does it anyway. And during mm. this time, he gets in touch with Art Bell and agrees to come on the radio but he never shows up. Mel said on the day he was supposed to come on, he was on a bus to visit his nephew. And on the bus, there was some kind of altercation and the police were called. All the passengers are questioned and put on a different bus. Then Mel blacks out. Yeah, we, yeah, that, San Francisco, 12 days later. And the yeah. next thing he remembers is that he's in San Francisco and 12 days have passed. Mel woke up in an alley. His wallet and keys were missing. He realizes his arm hurts. He rolls up his sleeve and there are needle holes and tape marks from an IV. Holy. And as he becomes more lucid, he tastes blood in his mouth. His back teeth are missing. Whoa. Mel never makes it back to the property. There was legal action taken against him for illegal construction. Power lines, septic tanks, paved roads. Of course, he didn't build these. The government had occupied the property for two years. Still, Mel lost everything. Okay, this is absolutely crazy, right? We heard in part one, like, some of these details, but it wasn't as precise as some like this. Uh, this is why I like the Y-Files, the files, shout out to the Y-Files. And, uh, but, but here's the thing, though. This is sounding very, very real right now, and, and I have to agree, like, I'm starting to believe this a lot more, uh, to the fact that, yeah, Mel's, ro Mel's hole is real, and something mm, sinister, or perhaps something, let's just say, is going down there. But it, the, is this story legit? What I mean by this is that, like, yeah, okay, back teeth are missing, 12 days has passed, the guy's, like, was told to flee, never come back, never talk about it, but he then decides to come back, talk about it, expose the truth, like, yeah, some happening, military's here. Uh, yeah, it sounds good right now, and I'm believing it, but, like, I need proof about the fact that the military was there. I need proof about the, the uh, uh, like, the guy 
existed. It, you know what I mean, right? Like, I need I, I need some photographic evidence uh, of that too. Do we have that? If we have that, then that's gonna be insane, and I hope we do, because uh, claims are very, very big. You guys uh, understand where I'm coming from? Because it sounds really real right now. It really does. Everything. But... And a day or two after calling into Art's show, his bank account was emptied. Now, to be fair, plenty of people are calling in saying that this is all a hoax, but Art Bell is the master. Hoax or not, it's a great story, so he lets Mel continue. But Art yeah, does right, say like... that a TV crew was in the area looking for the hole. They didn't find it, but they did find evidence of a lot of military activity, and the no-fly zone has been mysteriously expanded to cover the area. In fact, TerraServer, which was a mapping site before Google Earth, showed that the whole area was blacked out, and this was no. confirmed. Skeptical callers said that Mel could have found the blacked out part of the map and pretended his property was there. The problem with that is, TerraServer launched six months after Mel made the first phone call. He couldn't have known. Soon we learned that a Native American tribe had contacted Mel and asked him if he wanted to come to Nevada and help them research. Research Damn. what? Another bottomless hole. Holy ah. crap, mankind is not even ready for one hole and there's another one right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And, and here's the thing, right? Okay, that's good to hear that the TV uh, uh, the, the TV crew was filming it or trying to find and get to the evidence and uh, do all that. That's good to hear. That actually is what we want. We want evidence. We want more proof. We want we want pictures and crap. But the, the insane part here is that it was showing up on Google as like a black mark. And I got this question, right? Like over the years, somebody would have found the hole right somebody would have seen it with their own eyes do we have those people accounts now let's under okay uh, maybe yeah the, the military has like sealed the hole the military has marked it as a no fly yeah no fly zone and also no go zone right so perhaps yeah people cannot get closer to it but i i, I would like to believe it it gotta be one of those area 51 kind of thing you can surely not go there you cannot go inside but you can see the area 51 from a far away right maybe from a mountain down there right you can just see its physical existence do we have an uh a sighting like this you, you you get what i'm saying right maybe like somebody from a far away with binoculars with a telescope or standing far away just looking down or looking up doesn't matter right per perhaps per probably looking down right because the hole is deep <laughs> do we have any account from any guy or gal out there that have seen it with their own eyes because it's 1997 he was talking about so it's been some time another hole a second chance they took you to it they took me there I was I was not I did not go all the way up to the hole but there was conversations between uh, uh, the Native Americans and the Basque and the blah 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 and they basically uh, uh, agreed that you know everything was as it should be that I wasn't you know from CNN or the FBI or the CIA or right, whatever. Right, right, uh, right, right. And so I went there and uh, uh, I got to see the hole. Now, oh, what's there? The second, the second hole, hole wasn't located on the Indian reservation where they lived. It was actually on public land that was used by Basques. The Basques are an ethnic group that comes from a small region between France and Spain. The Basques settled a couple of areas in the United States, including Nevada, in the mid-1800s, and they were using this land to herd sheep. They told Mel that the hole was there for as long as their people were, so at least 200 years, and they consider the hole and the land around it sacred. This hole was just over nine feet wide, just like Mel's, but where Mel's hole had a stone retaining wall, Okay, is this a real picture or AI generated? You know what I mean? Like, I, I wish, like, he, uh, the wire falls, I love the guy. Love the channel, love the guy. Uh, but, I, but, uh, but you know what? As a viewer, as uh, a fan of the channel, and as somebody that's, that want to find the truth, just like you guys as well, uh, Mr. Bellin does one thing where it's, like, in pictures, you get to see real picture, real or generated or concept. I, I hope that he does that as well, because you, we have seen so many pictures and nobody knows, like, whether the picture is real or fake, right? For example, this one, right? Like, look at that hole looks good for the thumbnail but like is this like real or not that's you you guys understand where i'm coming from right because if this is a real image then holy crap it just looks like a normal hole and imagine like somebody falls inside and it's so deep that you don't even hit the ground but you wake up like in another dimension uh, because there are so many conspiracies around it you, you get what i'm saying right like it looks like a normal hole
of a few feet. The second hole had a metal collar and metal lining down as far as the eye can see. And this hole was warm to the touch. You could feel heat all around it. And the metal wouldn't make any sound or vibrate at all. Mel accidentally dropped a tool on the metal collar and the impact was completely silent. So Mel and the Basque begin their experiments. The first test was they lowered a bucket of ice down into the hole about a thousand feet and they kept some ice at the surface as a control. When the surface ice was melted, they brought the bucket back up. That ice didn't melt at all. And even stranger, the ice was no longer cold to the touch and it wasn't wet. The ice felt like large pieces of salt. So they tried to melt the ice over an open flame. It didn't melt, did it? Nope, it Holy. caught fire. Uh. Not only that, it continued to burn for months. So they continued sending different amounts of ice down the hole. About two thirds of the time it melted normally, but one third of the time it was transformed. Now at this point, one of the braver Basque volunteered to go down the hole himself. What? Is he nuts? Yeah, everyone agrees that that's not a good idea. So they decided to send down a sheep. A sheep? Ooh, what happened to the sheep? Oh no! Oh uh, no, nah, nah, I, yeah, I heard that, I heard that part. But first, first contact. But but here's the thing though. Like, okay, so second hole, right? Can you now go there and experiment with it, or is that also shut down by the government? Is the is the second hole also filled in by the government or not? That's the part I want to know. I don't have the answer to that. Any of you know about it? Let me know in the comments. Because if it's open still, well, not filled in, I just felt I was in it. The, then we can go down there and experiment ourselves too, right? The presence of something extraordinary, something beyond extraordinary, something like in that category of having a religious thing. There was this was just such a stunning thing to witness. The sheep did not want to go in the hole. The closer it got, the more it tried to kick its way out of its crate. They lowered the crate down the hole to 1,000 feet. At that point, it stopped moving, and they felt a humming sensation. They left the sheep down there for 30 minutes and then brought it back up. There was no movement. The crate was unchanged and the sheep looked fine, but it was dead. The Basque, being shepherds, knew how to butcher a sheep, so they brought it to a table for a quick autopsy. Oh, for crying out loud, what are they doing? The first thing that they noticed is that the sheep looked like it was cooked from the inside. Man. And taking up almost the entire cavity of the sheep's body, was what Mel described as a giant tumor. Ugh. Then the tumor starts moving. What in oh. the f is going on with this story? Oh! Yeah, I'm sorry, this is intense. Then they cut the tumor open. No. Oh, no! Inside the tumor is what Mel describes as a fetal seal. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say a fetal seal? Yeah, like a baby seal. It was attached to the tumor by an umbilical cord. But this seal-like creature had the eyes of a human. They watched the creature for a while as it crawled to the end of the table. And Mel felt like it wanted to get back to the hole, so he picked it up and set it near the edge. Of course, the creature was slimy, and Mel said that the fluid had the smell of ozone. So the men studied the creature, and it seemed to study the men for about two hours. Then the seal creature gave them a final look and jumped in the hole. Now, before Mel went to Nevada, he was diagnosed with advanced esophageal cancer. He had only six months to live. Man. But after this experience, Mel was cancer free. He Ooh. thinks he was cured by the magic seal. Yep. Oh, Mel felt like he had a transcendent experience. He was completely changed after this. And just then, the radio show runs out of time. No. Oh, so you know what it would be absolutely insane that they they found like a cure to the actual cancer and maybe they were like okay people can be cured and we certainly gonna lose billions and billions of dollars right big pharma comes in and like nah don't do it don't do it you know what i mean no money in curing people no money in <laughs> fixing people and uh, you know so uh, yeah another can of thoughts right there another can of worms right there you know uh, finally the evidence, all right. Now we're getting to the good part, right? The climax. Across from me over here is the actual roadway into Mel's Hole. Don't go up that road. Up there a ways is a fence, but uh, you get across that fence, you're in a deep bunch of trouble. Oh, yeah, it might 100%. be that you simply disappear, period. A few oh. months later, Mel returned to coast to coast. Something crazy happened with that bucket of ice. 
Remember one of the Basque took the burning ice to his cabin to keep warm? Yeah. He had it in a stove. It burned for months, and it was pulling all the moisture out of the air. The air in the cabin was always dry. The owner's skin was always dry. He was constantly thirsty. When boiling water, the steam would be pulled into the stove. One day, the stove crashed through the floor and into the ground under the cabin. But it was still warm, so he patched up the floor and used the hole for warmth. A couple of weeks later, he's returning home and his entire cabin has collapsed and turned to dust. He moves in with his brother for a while. A month later, he comes back to the cabin and sees that the stove is now five feet underground and the hole made by the stove was perfectly smooth. It was making a new baby bottomless hole. It was, and they couldn't get the stove back up. It took a giant crane to finally get the stove out of the hole. And at this Man. point, the Basque said they were sometimes visited by the entity that they discovered in the hole. The magic seal? Yes, the magic seal. No way. They felt it was a benevolent presence and considered the whole experience to be very spiritual. There are now brightly colored birds circling the hole. All right, this is a part that we did. I didn't hear in part one that we did, right? Like, uh, okay, now it's sounding a lot more fantastical and it's kind of losing its... Uh, what's the word it's losing its credibility in a way right because uh the only part that gives it like r big credibility big boost of credibility is the fact that the military actually filled in the hole as sarcastic as sarcastic as i can sound right now like that sounds sarcastic i mean it is but i mean it's, uh, what i mean is that like the government got involved military got involved and yeah that's it case closed right that's the only part that gives it credibility but other than that it's like it's like a he said she said kind of thing birds that seem to be immune to bullets that's how they respond to a spiritual experience shoot the birds i guess freaking basque the basque even believe the magic seal is communicating with them over the radio using a system of beeps and clicks as language which they can understand the creature warns the basque that the ice is dangerous and can't fall into the wrong hands and would lead to the destruction of the planet. Art asks if there's a recording of this language. There is. The Basque recorded everything. For the next hour, a few more theories are considered and Art finally gets Mel to agree to come back on the show. But this time, he would bring the recording, photos, video, and everything he can get his hands on. Mel agrees to go back to Nevada and gather all the evidence. He hangs up and the show ends. Mel is and that evidence we never got to see because when i think when he got because when he said that i got the evidence he hung up and they're like okay let's meet he never got there right yeah because they got him before he could reach back to nevada and gather all the evidence he hangs up and the show ends mel is never heard from again he doesn't yeah. respond to art's calls and eventually the line is disconnected so after five years, the story of Mel's hole finally comes to an end, but it left so many questions. Okay, now we're getting to the good part. There are a lot of Art Bell highlights and Mel's hole is right near the top. So how much of the story can we confirm? First, the location of the hole. Terra server did black out that part of Washington, but on Google Earth, it showed back up. Crazy. But if the military really had taken over the property, they would have covered up the hole. People have been searching for it for years. And of the many locations I found, there was one that was really compelling. This is the Google map. Oh my goodness. Someone actually went to- So it's like one of the story, like we were talking about earlier on, right? Like it's good to know, but it's like, has anybody seen it, right? Just like how Area 51, they never were confirming it. Now they have, obviously it exists. We know it did exist back then too. It's just that it was secretive, so secretive that they never wanted to put it officially on the map or or anywhere right so yeah this is what i was saying uh, but but with this story it looks like that nobody some might be some might have but it's like would do you want to believe it right because there that that hole might be some different that might actually be the hole it's like no way to and who nobody is stupid enough to fall inside the hole right whether it's like an actual well that's like 20 30 50 100 feet deep versus uh some like versus the real thing that we're hearing is like eighty thousand feet and even by then it's not like the, the the bottom it's still not the bottom to the location to see what was there these are the pictures during one of his phone calls, 
Mel said there were two old buildings on the property, and one like of them God eventually collapsed. Holy crap, it looks like God of War 2018 where, where Kratos lives with his kid, right? Those of you that played that game, you know what I'm talking about. Lapsed under snow. This fits the description pretty well. And also on the property is this. Yep, a hole about nine feet wide with a stone retaining wall. Exactly how Mel described. Man. Now this caused quite a stir online, but the hole turned out to be an old well and definitely had a bottom. Yeah. If you search the internet, you'll find a lot of people claiming they found Mel's hole. They haven't. It's never been found. At least, not yet. As for Mel, he's a complicated character. There's no record of a Mel or Melvin Waters living in the area, but some have claimed he was using a pseudonym to protect his identity. That makes sense. Now, something that really hurts the credibility of the story is the lack of pictures. In every call, Art asks for photographs, but sometimes Mel just doesn't think to take a picture. He yeah. forgets, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Another time he says cameras don't work near the hole because of interference. Or he does have pictures and recordings, but they're not handy, so he'll send them when he can. But in Mel's defense, he never plugs anything. Even if this is a hoax, he could have made a fortune selling t-shirts, books, phony photographs, anything. People would buy- Yeah, like, why lie about the hole, right? We get it, like, holes exist. We love the holes, but it's like, why lie? There's so many holes out there. Like, why lie about this hole? You understand what I'm saying? But it's like, these are very good questions. And yeah, man, the, the story sounds very fantastical, very, very good. And like, now I'm like really, really intrigued. I'm sure you guys are intrigued as well. But it's like, where is the proof? We need proof, man. And like, you're telling me not even one person has found the hole. Now, if the hole really exists, and if the story is really true, then I guess nobody's ever going to be able to find the hole ever till they till they when i say they i mean like the government that has been involved with this covering up and actually filling the hole till they actually reveal it i think till then nobody's ever gonna nobody's ever gonna be able to find the hole just because you don't even know where it's at and also they might have just sealed the hole completely you know yeah made something on top of it so it's like maybe there's an actual building or like a big ass house there and you don't even know there's a hole down you down there and i'm sure that that house would already be bought out by their own people so it can never be sold again to anybody you feel what i'm saying right like if if the story is really true good luck finding the hole good luck finding the hole and i'm only just one guy here only with only one brain and this is the outcome that i can come up to they probably they have nasa scientists right they got uh, other people <laughs> they might have come up with another solution to permanently fill the hole up seal the hole and you're never gonna be able to find the hole buy that stuff just because it's cool i would buy a mel's hole t-shirt i went to mel's hole and all i got was this magic seal fetus yeah that part of the story was pretty wild and that's a common argument that mel's story got crazier and crazier and eventually he just couldn't keep up with it, so he bailed on the hoax. But he was pretty consistent with the facts over five years. And Art Bell tried many, many times to trip him up, but he couldn't five do it. Years. Now the hole That's itself insane. just isn't geologically possible. A hole many miles deep would be unstable and collapse in on itself. Unless it was a bottomless hole to another dimension. Right, unless it's that. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we'll ever know. Mel's hole has many believers, but I don't think Art Bell was one of them. But Art was an entertainer. And this is the type of story that his listeners loved. It's yeah. a legend that people still talk about 30 years later. Yep, but for yep, me yep. in this channel, this was a masterclass on how to present an urban legend. Let the story breathe, but still challenge the specifics. Explore mm -hmm. the mystery, but keep it grounded. Be critical, but compassionate. I try to approach topics this way, but very few others do. A channel that tells mysterious stories without giving all the facts will get more clicks and it will get more subscribers. Yeah, but that's yeah, yeah. a shame because it's dishonest and you deserve better. Yeah, this is why like I always say like don't dismiss anything but also don't believe everything at first glance and uh, th we were asking questions earlier on as well and yeah it sounds good like listen i love stories as well but at the same time like <laughs> if it's true then uh, it's true but it, but but don't tell me it's true unless it's not true you you, or you feel what i'm saying and uh, shout out to the wi files shout out to the believers shout out to the non-believers uh, shout out to people that just love stories i love stories as well don't get me wrong but it's like right now i'm if this is real we're never gonna be able to find the hole this is part one guys that we did not long ago on the left this is another conspiracy video 
if you already have seen part one then click the video on the left you're gonna love it you're absolutely gonna love it and uh, it would be a pleasure to have you if you are new roll it